Behind me is the Nash Blockhouse Camo Pro, which is a massive shelter. It's not your conventional bivvy system. So let's jump into the video. I'm going to tell you a few things I love about it. And if you stick around, I will tell you how you can enter a competition to win one of these. So the design might not be to everyone's taste and that is because it's quite away from your conventional bivy shape but i quite like it it's the sort of thing that once you've actually done a session in something like this i think you'll be hard pushed to go back to a normal conventional bivy that's for many reasons that we're going to cover within this video but one of the first ones is for years manufacturers have been trying to make bivvies with a, a flat back design so that you can push your bed chair to the back to maximize the space but nash have taken that one step further and they've done that on all sides which makes perfect sense why wouldn't you want to maximize the actual footprint that you've got so that's why there's pretty much flat sides all the way around this and it works it means you can stand up in it it means you can move around with no issues you can have a little table up and you can cook standing up you don't cook sitting down in your kitchen do you it makes perfect sense but i think it just takes a little bit of getting used to with the actual shape of it as i've had it here today i have got more and more used to it and just moving around is so easy now the actual dimensions of this you've got 260 centimeters wide 290 centimeters from front to back and then from floor to the highest point of the shelter is 190 centimeters so i can stand up in it I'm only five foot eight, but that still gives you a bit of a gauge. There is room above my head still, and that's even with this vapor shield in place as well. If you want a little bit more headroom, you can take that vapor shield out, and then, yeah, like I say, it'll give you that little bit more. But even if you are six and a half foot, yeah, you might not be able to stand up in it properly, but it's still going to make life a lot easier when it comes to moving about. The other thing as well, if you're not tall, but you're a little bit less abled then by having that headroom by having the flat sides it is just so much easier to move around and that's a massive plus point of this you don't have to worry about crouching around and crawling out your bed chair i think nowadays comfort is becoming more important on the bank especially with people doing longer sessions but that's that's not the only plus point of this because it doesn't have to be used strictly as a bivy it can be used you know if you're doing a social with a mate you can easily run two bed chairs here one either side of the shelter then you've still got a walkway in the middle if you're going to france or you're going to europe and doing a big trip it can easily be used as like a social hub because we get onto all the customization in a little bit but it can almost be used as a, a gazebo style shelter the possibilities with this literally are endless okay so all you've got to do to be in with a chance of winning one of these blockhouse camo pros is subscribe to the car biology youtube channel put a comment on this video telling us your favorite feature and then a month from now we will pick a winner at random so that's a month from the date of this video going live a winner will be picked at random and then it's yours so get commenting get subscribing and fingers crossed one of these will be making its way to you soon so the blockhouse really can be customized to exactly how you want it like i say there's a multitude of different uses whether you want it to be a, a shelter for yourself whether you want it to be a two-man shelter a gazebo a social hub there's literally so many different uses for this and this is thanks to basically all the the main panels around it so the two side ones and the rear panel have obviously full infill panels so they're completely waterproof but you can obviously change that so you can unzip the sides you can roll them up and then that will reveal the mosquito mesh behind it which is still in nash's camo pattern so you can choose to have all three as mosquito meshes i've done the two sides and then i've got the rear as a waterproof panel not that it's going to rain but it actually helps to block out a little bit of light so that's quite nice but if you don't want to use the mosquito meshes then you don't have to either so you can unzip that and then that basically gives you a complete window on all three of these sides so it is almost like a gazebo setup so you really can tailor it to how you want it to be moving on to the front of course there's going to be loads of different door options so you can have it fully open like i've got it here and this actually has an opening of 160 centimeters high so even if you are tall you haven't got to be clambering around and try to pull yourself out of it there's loads of room that you just got to crouch and get through the door i think i can pretty much walk straight through it don't even have to crouch but not many people my sort of height you've got obviously the full waterproof infill panel you can remove that or roll that up and then you've got a clear panel roll that one up you've then got a mosquito panel 
There's even a storm porch extension, which is actually sewn into the front of this shelter, which then can be used in conjunction with the front door pole kit that you can buy from Nash separately. Or obviously, like I say, you've got it open front like I've got it here. So again, you can really make the shelter exactly what you want it to be. So the block house actually comes with this ground sheet that you see here. It's a heavy duty ground sheet. It Velcros in place. And that's not just a little bit of Velcro in each corner that ends up ripping off as you're moving stuff around. There's a thick strip of Velcro that goes all the way around the outside of the ground sheet. And of course, all the way around the outside of the shelter so you can really pin it down I think it's about two inches thick so that ground sheet is not going anywhere once it's in place. Now shelters like this often boast about using lightweight materials because obviously it's quite a big product so lightweight materials make the product itself a lot lighter which is great but that normally means using fabrics which have got like a 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head which will keep you dry but they're not very hard wearing, they're very plasticky and they feel very cheap and tacky. Nash have gone the other way with this. So the material used for this is actually the same material used in some of Nash's flagship bivvies like the Titan Camo Pro and it's actually a 20,000 millimeter hydrostatic head Aquasense material. So you're not gonna get a thicker, more hard wearing material in a shelter, let alone something like this. So this really is a product you get what you pay for. It's not just a material, it's the components used for when you're actually unfolding, setting up the shelter. It's the poles, the frame, the ground sheet, everything about this whole system is built to last. So obviously being built to last, that does come at a cost. And the retail price of one of these is $699.99. Now I'm sure you guys will be jumping to the comments straight away, but I don't think that's too bad. When you consider this really is a, a one size fits all, it can be your shelter, it can be a bivvy, it can be a gazebo, it can be a social hub. It can be all of those things instead of having a bivvy and then thinking you gotta buy an extra gazebo or extra this or that. I don't think it's too bad. And when you think of the, the kind of price of high-end bivvies these days, I think it falls in line. So let us know in the comments what you think of it, of the price and of the actual shelter itself. I really like it. It's unconventional with the actual design and the shape of it, but I like it. I think it's very practical and I think they sell quite well. So to find more information about this, head over to the Nash Tackle website, where there's gonna be all the ins and outs of spec and material and everything you need to know on there. This is very much a, a quick glance at a few of the bits that that we like from it here at Carpology. So thanks for watching this video. Good luck in the competition. Hopefully you guys, you guys win, one of you guys will win. And uh, I will see you in the next video.